Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I want to give you my opinion on foldable phones. Okay, so a couple of weeks ago on our live stream, several people asked me my opinion about the Galaxy Fold, the new folding phone from Samsung, right? And I, I felt a little bit at the time like I hadn't done my homework because I didn't watch any of the news stories about it. I've seen a little bit at CES about foldable phones and I thought, eh, they seem kind of gimmicky. I, you know, I, I'm not really that interested in them. Uh, but as a developer, I probably should look into this kind of stuff. Right. So, and at the time I hadn't looked into it. So, for the past few days, I've been looking into foldable phones. And every time I look at a new technology like this, something that's new coming out, and again, it's coming out on Android, not iPhone. So, you know, there's that. Uh, but every time something new comes out, I have to think about: Can we take advantage of this opportunity somehow? And uh, is it, is it even worth doing? What's the market share going to be like? And so far, both those questions, I don't have an answer to. So right now, I think I'm going to hold off on all of this. But it's an interesting proposition. Uh, have a look at my screen here. If you haven't been following this, we got the, the new Galaxy Fold that's uh, you know, been announced just recently. And it's kind of a cool phone where you have the front of the phone will show the... Um, will look like a normal smartphone but when you open it up you get the big display inside now from a programmer's point of view there are some things that we're gonna have to change in order to if you're showing it on the front screen and they open up on the other screen the state may change so you might need to be able to resume the session state and all that kind of stuff there's i've been watching all these articles on it all, i mean all these um reading all these articles on it all right so there's certain things that need to happen there but for me the biggest thing is because we use a lot of hybrid we use hybrid frameworks or we'll use like corona sdk or unity or whatever and those platforms are going to take a while to catch up with this if they even do so they are probably thinking is this worth doing is it worth pursuing but very interesting so if you look at this samsung's blog they've got uh, articles on how to do this it's not you could do it in android oreo but it's going to have more you know, better support in Android Q, apparently. There's a few articles there on that. And my whole issue with this, I mean, there's like the laziness of it. There's just like, as a developer, what do I have to change? My whole thing with this is I don't like the idea of my my windows changing size. And I know on iOS you can have multi-window and everything like that, but I, we don't really ever support it, right? So this is one of the kind of things where I don't know whether or not we're going to do anything about it. Right now, right now my plan is just to wait and see on this, but I'm be really curious for any of you guys developers out there, are you ready to pounce on this? Is anybody out there doing anything for the foldable phone? I know it's very new, it's very early, and there's nothing wrong with being early on this if it takes off, but it's a risk. You have to think how many people are going to buy this phone. I probably won't. I'm not that impressed with it, although I kind of see the, see the point of it. I mean, there's no reason carrying around an iPad and an iPhone and all this stuff when you can just have one device that gives you the big screen resolution that you need. But so far, I'm going to wait and see on this one. But I wanted to you know, just say this video, I don't really have a lot of information about the foldable phones, although there's some really good articles here I'll put in the comments. Um, but I want to see what you guys are doing. Is anybody out there doing anything for foldables yet? Do you plan on doing anything for it? For me, I probably will only look into it if we if we have a client that wants it. Because right now, for my app, for my apps, I'm not I'm not too interested. I don't think it's going to improve the experience at all for any of my applications. But what do you guys think? Is this going to work for you? Are you planning on doing anything with it? Are you excited about it? Or are you kind of like because I'm not that I'm not even that excited about it. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I should be. Maybe I'm not giving this the credit it deserves. But anyway, what do you guys what do you guys think about this? Anyway, that is it for today. I'll talk to you guys again tomorrow.